Its eyes were LCD glass. It wore a mask. It had some chips on the back. The monster mask. And a sweet solder mask. Soon I discovered I had nothing to fear. This ghoulish rage wasn't how it appeared. This creature didn't want to do me in. It just wanted new eyes, so I plugged them right in. You wore a mask. I was coding so fast. The monster mask. I used some pictures of cats. You wore a mask. Uploading firmware to Flash. The monster mask. And the results were a smash. Those programmable eyes So easily customized And once we got it all right We would party all night The Monster Mask Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another 3D Hangouts. My name is Noah Ruiz. I'm a designer here at Adafruit. Join me every week is Mr. Pedro. What's going on everybody? I'm Pedro Ruiz, Creative Tech here at Adafruit. And every week we come to share 3D printed projects featuring electronics from Adafruit. That is right. This is where we combine 3D printing and DIY electronics to make interesting projects. I forgot to do the hand thing. <laughs> Let's jump right into the show with today's coupon code antennas. So if you want to check out anything in the Adafruit shop, please do so. This will get you 10% off your whole order. This works on everything in the shop except for gift certificates and coupon codes. All right, moving right along. We have some freebie deals going on. The more money you spend with Adafruit, the more free stuff you get. It's that simple. So uh, this stuff gets added to your cart as you uh, add things and stuff full of stuff. Heading on over to the website, adafruit.com slash free. You can see that every order now comes with a free Blinka sticker. It's a nice um, final sticker that you can add to your laptop or something else. We also have some other deals for orders that are $99 or more. You get the sticker plus a half size Perma Proto bread size breadboard. For orders that are 200 or more, you get the Blinka, you get the Perma Proto, and you get free ground shipping, our favorite shipping here in the continental US only. And for orders that are $2.99 or more, you get the Blinka, you get the Perma Proto, you get the shipping, and Circuit Playground Express. Very hot stuff. So check it out, adafruit.com slash free. All right. We also have same day delivery for the fine folks in the New York City area. So if, if you are in New York City and you need like a hundred boards to do something, um, like in, you, you can order it same day, you get it in the same day. Same day delivery, adafruit.com slash shipping. <laughs> We also have uh, newsletters that happen once a week because once a week, uh, Lady Ada adds stuff to the, to the store, whether she's designing some custom hardware or adding some new components. You can uh, get a good look and digest it all in one place in your inbox, adafruit.com slash newsletter. We also have another newsletter. It happens daily, adafruitdaily.com. You can uh, check the boxes to whatever piques your interest and uh, then you can subscribe to those. Um, there you go, adafruitdaily.com. Check it out. The newest edition is Make, make Code. Make Code. Uh, make Code from Microsoft. Newsletter, yes. Newsletter. That's right. All right, we're hanging out in the Discord chat room. Folks are sleeping in there. I'm hanging out. Hello. And it's shout out to everybody in the Facebook, Discord, and the YouTube. Hey, shout folks. out to Andy Calloway. We've got Mr. Certainly hanging out. We've got Nihilish in the YouTube chat. Sweet. Hey, books. How are you doing? Thank you all for joining us every morning. Yeah, we're hanging out. And we got some fun stuff to show you. We got a lot of demos, and uh, we can't wait to show it with you. First, let's finish up the housekeeping. Don't forget, CircuitPython meetings happen every Monday at 2 p.m. It's a nice way to listen in on the CircuitPython devs, find out what's going on, what are they working on, but also a chance for the community to come in and let us know if you want any specific features or anything like that. So you can join in. You can listen in as well and we call them lurkers. You can lurk around if you want. You don't have to participate, but you can. Um, it's all happening in the Discord server. It's in the uh, CircuitPython chat. We have different channels. Right now we're hanging in the live broadcast channel. Well, that's where we are. Check out the thumbnail. We got a unicorn horn and some eyes and a cauldron. Man, it is full on Halloween here. I hope you heard that song in the beginning. It was 
um, uh, unreleased it's song. We won't even talk about it. It's just it a debut, I think. Our next fine week? folks at Adafruit Later this created week. that song. And additional shout outs, everybody in the chat room Hi. Zelmar, Thomas Veach, and Dewister. Hey, folks. We're hanging it. Stars Robotics, also in the chat. Pedro's over there to the side because he's got his laptop over there. Yes. Yeah, he's over there. Trying to tweet as much as I can before I jump into this week's project because yeah. I'll be talking a lot. Yeah. This week we're coming out with the Monster Mask Antenna Eyes. These are super cool construction you can make with all of the included things in. Oh, wait. What's wrong? Yeah, everybody's been getting it. Yeah. So it's. You can make this with all the included stuff inside your Ada Box 13. Yay. Don't tell anyone. It's a secret. <laughs> so, what we've done here is taken your standard monster mask. Yes. And chopped it in half because you have the ability to do that. You have all these nice little perforations on each side right. of the little boopable nose here that allow you to split it in half. Uh, super easy. John Park showed this last week. You're just using a pair of flush cutters and you're cutting along mm -hmm. the perforations to separate those. Yeah. And you can turn them into these. That's right. Definitely check out John Park's live stream too, where he shows you how to do it live. Yeah, he shows you. It's really nice chopping yeah. those up. It's a lot easier than we thought. We were gonna like bust out the Dremel and like do nice fine yeah. cutting. Like you don't need to do brush. that. It really the perforated the perforated lines really mm -hmm. help you out. You definitely want to do it in a well ventilated area though. Yes. And you reconnect them using a shade of grab. Oh, that's right. We have an extra uh, pair of the nine pin cables right. that attach to the back there. I probably should have had an open version of this so you could see what sure. the actual yeah, connections it. look like. Yep. So you can see that every... What we're showing here is last week's project, the wearable 3D printed enclosure for the Monster Mask. Yeah, there's these two little connectors here. They're the JSTSH, nine pins. So when you split this guy, this little bike goes out, goes away, and then you have, um, you can connect it up. So the cable itself is about yay tall, it's about 100 millimeters, but you can, if you wanna make some taller ones, you can uh, splice the wires. Which we'll show in Which we'll show guide. in a little bit in the guide, yeah. We'll talk about this as well, we have an update to it. The little guy there, we just put a hole in there for the mic. We'll talk about that yeah, in the cool prototyping mic spot. Stuff. All right, lots of cool Put it on your head, let's happen. see it on. We yeah, want so we'll to literally, jump over to an the main hour shot. ago, we got live code updates from Phil B, Philip Burgess himself, the dragon. He made it so that we can rotate the eyes with the simple um, parameter inside our little JSON configuration. So really easy to do it when you plug it, when you plug the monster mask into your computer, it shows up as a USB drive. There's a little file in there for configuration settings. There you can change the colors, you can assign texture maps, you can now rotate the eyes. And if you have a very specific orientation, how you're mounting these guys, you wanna have your eyes uh, be able to be rotated. So there's one line, one parameter, really nice. Back up, let's highlight that point. You can actually rotate the eye. So we do have two different orientations for the cases. Go back over to the overhead, you can That's see that. That's what I was saying, you're not even listening. Oh no, the cases as well. So one is modeled to be rotated 90 degrees and one I think is I mean. standard. Yeah, so the case itself can have an orientation. So yes. the way you oriented, doesn't matter because you can change it in the code. Exactly, and that's great. Yeah. So now you're not having to... Uh, the main reason you yeah. want to do that is if we take a look at if I pop this guy open, so we can take a look at the way that the port is facing. It's shooting straight down That's because right. we have this shorter cable. Yeah. Because we have a lot more room or a, lo a longer cable to work with here, the way that the... Um, ah, you can see that, how the cable is actually that way. Yeah. Yes. So the so orientation will, it will change depending on your, your project. Exactly, so. yeah. L Lamar actually really wanted to, uh, to do this version because it shows how you can... Uh, you don't have to splice the wire because that, that is a little bit, it's nine wires. So you're looking at what, 18 different solder joints. Unless you find it therapeutic. Yeah, unless you find it therapeutic and you like it and it doesn't yeah. matter, definitely do that. And if that calls, if your project calls for it, definitely mm -hmm. add that bigger wire. But you don't have to. The design accommodates for the uh, stock kind of yeah, cable. The smaller one. Yeah. Uh, we're using the convex plastic lens inside here to give the eyes a little bit more bubbly, realistic look Definitely go that. with the plastic, because the glass one's a little They're bit heavier. Heavy. They might um, flop down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might have to use a uh, stronger compression spring oh, that's right. you can have if a you want bigger to have gauge. them. Yeah. I don't see any quality differences between the plastic and the glass, just the weight. I uh, mm -hmm. could be wrong on that. Maybe it scratches easier or something, I yeah, don't know. But definitely, definitely go with the plastic. Um, I actually had I to go over to the last one, I think. Yeah. So we have the case here that is 
aligning these together. Yep. And Philby has a whole guide on how you want to align this if you're designing your own case. Uh, one of the main points is you wanna make sure that it's aligned away from that yellow tag right there so it doesn't show up yeah. in your eye. You can't really see it. Yeah, there. reference our, uh, the Illustrator file, the vector file mm -hmm. for uh, Philby's lens holders. It's all a part of the Monster Mask guide. Yeah, so going back over to the case, you have uh, your slot or your cutouts for your audio, USB, uh, your on and off button. You have a little cutaway here for your JST. That's right. Uh, the way that I was doing it before, I was just soldering right to the back of that, but that could be a little yeah, bit difficult for people. Yay. You just had this notch update. here so you can cut that out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to update the file uh, after the show to let you have access to the reset. Okay, that's a good one. And then you have your cutouts for your wires to go through there. Yeah. And your, uh, it's just press fits, just orient the shape. It's got a really nice shape that like works well for these type of snap fits. Yeah. It holds cool. it on there, and yeah. that's how the lenses are held yeah. in place. Uh, we are, if I grab one of these bare ones, you can see that it's just these compression springs. I forget what the setting or the specifications for these are. They are in the learn guide. Sure, we'll and look we at have, it in a minute. So those are just uh, strong enough <laughs> to hold great. up the and the uh, both boards. And yeah. kind of funny, <laughs> got an ear thing going on here. A couple weeks ago, oh, we that's had right. we did ear Mickey ears. Now we're doing these eye the ears. Monster ears or antenna. And 10 eyes. 10 A. Yeah. 10A. <laughs> Phil B. Last night he sent a a little oh the Jar Jar little, Binks. Yeah, Jar Jar Binks is like no. <laughs> so we're utilizing the Ninja Flex material for hiding the components, uh, using it as a battery holder and uh, little covers for the springs here, so that you can continue having that monster uh, aesthetic theme that you, uh, we were going for with this. So this is just regular black Ninja Flex. Semi Flex should work as well and you should still be able to have that springiness to the compression springs when you mm -hmm. have those covered on there. I just made them a little bit shorter so that the uh, spring still has some movement in, at the bottom there. I like that you didn't have to 3D print the headband because then you can get a headband that is padded, has fabric, mm -hmm. is colored, fits your head. Yeah, so these are like about a dollar at any yeah, like they're, dollar store. They're, yeah, you can buy a pack the for a dollar. The first one that I grabbed, though, were these from Spirit that have the springs already attached Yeah, they're different, on as there. you can see. They're like, they have more padding and they mm -hmm. have a wider um, thing. So you will have to do some DIYing with your, uh, your, your springs and coils. You could even use wire wrap, maybe, like a, a high... When you're sculpting models, you use that bendable wire. Mm -hmm. Maybe that could be an option, too. Yeah. So out of the lenses, unfortunately for that, and that's why I only one of these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we can, those. we can pop them in. We'll show you how easy, well, you yeah. kind of already popped them out. Yeah, yeah, we can pop those in yeah. to show how that looks like. And let me turn these antenna eyes on. I don't even think you took the screen protectors off yet. They're oh still yeah. So you you're like Lamar, he doesn't like, we don't like to take them off. <laughs> so we see the different eye themes that you can have here. And the rotation as well. Rotation on Rotations this one as well. It's changed it's a bit. It's going to have um, be 90 degrees on it. Mm -hmm. And you have the longer cover here. All yeah. of these, uh, this is actually a uh, model that we used before when mm -hmm. we did the Flesh Charger, yep. another Halloween themed project from last year. Mm -hmm. All it was essentially doing <laughs> was just theming your phone charger to make it look like it was guts. Yeah. So Cronen Cronenberg. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. what this design is supposed to be. And let's go ahead and jump into the guide, I think. Sure, that's let's do much it. of the overview of the entire project. So if you head on over to learn.edifruit.com, you can get to see all the different learn guides that came out this week. This week, monster mask antenna eyes is what we're looking at. The overview just kind of covers that you are splitting the, the, the monster mask um, and using the 9-pin JST cable to connect them like that. Sweet. We talk about a little bit of, about the specs for that, and yep. we link you, you to the entire guide sure. for setting it up. That's right. You want to set that up first uh, so you can set up your animated eyes. But a quick start guide, you drop in a file and some assets, and you're up and running. Uh, and then the later batches will ship with it. So it should be better. Yeah. All right. If you do not have an Ada box, we have the stuff uh, independently uh, linked here. So the JST cable, the Monster Mask itself, the lenses, and the battery. For this one, a 420 milliamp battery is what ships with Adabox, but uh, we, you know, 500 with a 500 yeah. works as well. Mm -hmm. uh, only just because I wanted to make sure that it was, that the covering was wide enough for the battery to fit in there. Yeah. And then here's the compression spring uh, specs for that. It's a nine Oops. and a half by 19 inch yep. compression spring. It's part of a pack that comes Which in Which is great. This. 
because then you can build the longer ones. I think you use this one right here, right? Uh, if you go over to the first image, it is the one that is right here. Yeah, it's in that little bat. Uh, nice. But organized for, little. Depending whoa, on what you're doing, <laughs> you, it's good to have a whole assortment kit. That way you can play around you with different test. sizes and all that and test it because out. Because I definitely went through three different uh, springs. Oh, yeah, you know. okay. okay, and they're all listed here. Yeah. I really wanted a metric one, but whatever. It's what it is. You can oh. wire, wrap your own if you want. Yeah. That's what we used, and that's what's linked. Mm -hmm. Cool. I tried looking for the one that I grabbed from Spirit. It is basically labeled as a alien eye headset, but on their website, I couldn't find it to link it. Yeah. So um, it was yeah, about eight bucks it. or something like that. Eight I bucks. I think so. It's Spirit. It's got that, got that Spirit that price tag. Yeah. yeah. For a dollar thing. <laughs> but it, it, it has these little nubs that the springs are attached to, so I didn't have to design any mm -hmm. way to hold it on there. That's right. All right. And those should be ready to go. Cool. All right, and then we got some extension cables. If you want to, if you get the shorter battery cable, you will need a longer battery cable, depending on how tall your ears are, mm -hmm. eyes, eyes, ears, whatever they are. And then our the favorite silicone coated ribbon wire. We have the this ten great. wire and right here. This keeps it as a nice bundled ribbon. You don't have to worry about too much heat shrink because so it's bad. all nice and ribboned out already. And it peels like string cheese. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't like string string cheese? Only three in stock, folks. Get ten percent off on that. It's a pretty code. big pack too. Yeah, it's a nice uh, I big one. ordered like a meter. ordered like four of them, Let's not see. knowing how long four they meters. would be, and that was way too much. Yeah. <laughs> so one pack should uh, last a couple projects. I want a spool of it. And then Ninja Flex, you definitely have to use some a, sort of <laughs> flex flexible material for the covers and the little uh, spring holder things too. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, is good. Definitely need some flexibility. I did try these with Semiflex or Cheetah, and it worked just as well. I'm just using the more elastic, flexible, softer uh, 90, 80, oh crap, I forgot the name, 85A Ninja Flex, which is the original I Ninja Flex. 75. 75, whatever it is. Something A. 85A? It didn't say here. There it is, 85A. 85A, yeah. I was wrong. So it's the more flexible, yeah. a little bit harder to print. Definitely got to tune yeah. down your speed, your printing speed down to like 30 millimeters a second. Yeah, bring up the, the heat. Mm -hmm. We have a learn guide on using NinjaFlex on printing it, which we've been updating every year. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you can always check that out. Do some research too as well. There's some other... We have a bunch of yeah. lovely colors, so definitely yeah. check those out. And we have a lot of parts that we printed that uh, give you some ideas for inspiration and Tons whatnot. Tons of projects. Yep. And it floats. Yay. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. All right, so there's a Ninja Flex. Good deal on that. You can even get 10% like off on that. Half the price yeah, of what price. it is in other places. Yeah. Definitely stock up on those cool. Ninja Flex colors. All right. Well, that's and here's what it looks like when it's swinging around. Let me see if I can go over the overhead. This should swing even better now with no um, no heavy lenses in there. Yeah. Ah, Misa Jaja Binks. <laughs> He's a monster mask. Oh, one thing I need to add on there too is I, I'm covering up the, the light sensor so his pupils are like super big. I need to add that in there as well because yeah. it can react to light. And if your project needs GIFs, we're going to talk about the GIF, the GIF player in, a, in, a, in the prototype segment. Yeah, I really like the little swaying motion. It like definitely gives it life when you're moving your head around. Mm -hmm. You notice that reflection there too. That's because we printed on uh, PEX. Oh, yeah. It's like I, glass, so if you have a bed, you might want to use blue tape if you don't yeah, want the reflection. Just or sand it down or paint it or whatever. No, I'll probably sand this it is down. straight off the printer. We didn't do any post processing to the parts, which mm -hmm. is fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, continuing on. Yeah, yeah, this is fun and all, but let's <laughs> keep going. <laughs> just glancing over. Uh, did I print the Ninja Flex with a copper nozzle? Yeah, original. Mm. The brass, standard brass nozzle, nothing yeah, fancy. Really, it's a 0.4 yeah. millimeter nozzle. Uh, we're printing at 230, um, 30 millimeters a second. For this, I have to turn off retraction using the Inventor uh, mm -hmm. flash hey, it's on the bed, by the way. You want to see it? Oh, yeah. Here's what it looks like when it comes off the bed. Let me switch the camera. So you are going to have to do some cleanup on it because you are disabling the retraction because otherwise it will bup, 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 bup. Um, jam. Blue tape. Use some blue tape for that. Because it will stick. Will it'll fuse it'll to the build tag. So there's your tip. <laughs> it kind of fuses to the blue. Right, but tape hey, there. it's disposable. Uh, 
one thing to the initial I layer height. I focus. have it like at 0.3, so it's not so squished and I'm not like having to re-level my bed every time I change materials. You can see the inside there definitely needs to be cleaned up. So it's the top there. And the orientation for this should be good to print as is, but you do want to sink it into your bed about a millimeter, just so it cuts off this bottom and there's no like little tiny islands that there it's printing. Go. Let's see, you can just clean all that up. It'll look like that. Mm -hmm. Sweet. And it's super flexible. You can add your, like we're saying, it's really to hide all of the, the wires that you're threading through and the LiPo uh, battery. Mm -hmm. And then we have other versions of this too. So uh, I didn't show it, but in uh, Fusion, you can adjust how long you want this to be. So um, I definitely should have made this just a tad bit longer. Wider, yeah. Or wider, sorry. Wider, longer, whatever. Yep, so you can adjust the uh, size. Uh, this is just a repeatable pattern. It just goes mm. along with the tube, and all of that is in the timeline, so you can easily update that. And I just never drag would have it thought this thing would print. Look at this thing. Look at the overhang. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I know, it looks like uh, intestines. Can you it's show the inside? Is it all stringy in there? Yep. Oh, it is. Yep. You gotta it's clean easy all to that clean up. it up. Yeah, it's totally easy. Just use uh, some flush yeah. cutters. You can just rip what, it out, yeah. too. What you want is the outside to look good. Yeah. The inside's just hiding your wires. Yep. This is easy to clean up. As you could print in PLA, I suppose. It wouldn't really be as flexible and adjustable or yeah. cuttable. But. Yep. Yeah, you can cut it. So I actually do cut these. You nice. don't have to. Oh, but there you go. And then you can clean it, it up like. even more. Uh, really, it's so the because of the springs are attached to these nubs here, I didn't want to like yeah. mess it up by removing it. So I'm just cutting it yeah. simply so you can yeah, put that on there right easily. There. Same thing with the smaller ones. These These're are cut as well. Couplers. So you can add that on there. Oh. And you can just cut these with regular scissors. Uh, for these, I didn't want you know a huge cut gap in there, so I'm just threading all of the wires through on that one. It looks so smooth. Those, the taller ones. Yeah. No supports. Just prints like that. Yep. Check out our settings oh, in the learn guide. Yeah, Davis tells us saying that we should have cutouts for the D2, D3 uh, connectors as well. Yeah, we'll definitely add those. Yeah. Since I need to uh, add that to my case. It's, it's always uh, the stage of releasing. Yeah, projects or products what, what's going to be used it's, a lot. yeah i know it's, it's like, uh, let me expose everything and it's like just holes everywhere <laughs> yeah but it, for this uh, because there are code is written, being written to mm -hmm. uh yeah to have interactivity with those uh, yeah. we definitely have to add those in so cool. those will be updated after the show add all those cutouts in there all right let's jump back into the learn guide as we covered some ninja flex parts Hey, moving on to the 3D, 3D printing part, hey, which we're we pretty much talking about yeah. already. Here's, Here's the what the parts look like. Yep. Uh, we're using the uh, just regular PLA for the cases. Mm -hmm. uh, use the brim on them just so it's super flat. Yep. And there are your links for the Fusion 360 files. Like I was saying before, you can edit uh, all those in the timeline. It's just adjusting the parameters of how long you want the tube and the, the, the pattern for the intestines to be. Cool. Uh, or you can just download the STLs and those are all ready to go. Nope. Just a couple of settings here for the Ninja Flex, like we were saying before. Uh, no supports for it. Uh, no brim for the Ninja Flex part. On the PLA one, I did add mm -hmm. a brim, no supports, and your standard regular print settings for that. Yep. The key here is really to print hotter and print slower for the Ninja Flex. For the Ninja Flex, yeah. Oh. For the Cheetah, uh, you can print about 60 millimeters a second mm -hmm. at about 230. Yeah, they have their own uh, profiles and settings on their site and mm -hmm. in the product description. Cool thing about the Cheetah is that you can enable retraction. Yeah. Uh, usually yeah, it's about uh, 1.2 millimeters on the Flash Forge, is but it? you can drop that down to actually 0.5 millimeters mm, and it wow. does really good retraction no at 0.5 millimeters. Wow. There you go. That's why they made the Cheetah. <laughs> uh, it does better overhangs as well, so you can do those really yeah, cool 45 degree. But it's not going to be as flexible, and it's not going to have like gripping it, gripping right, it's to not as it. Grippy. That's right. Yep, we cover all that too in our Ninja Flex guides. Yeah. All right, moving on to assembly. Go over quickly just how to split the mask apart. The technique that I like is adding a little couple of notch, uh, four notches to each end of each side of where the perforations are. So you will cut like one corner there, then mm -hmm. go over to the other corner and cut that. And that'll allow you to more easily uh, get to the center of it. Mm, okay. I'll snap it. I'm also using two uh, Panavice Juniors there. You kind of mm -hmm. see them. They're just attached to each board. It just makes it a little bit more easier when you have it elevated. So you can uh, cut those and you don't have parts flying everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it just gives you more secure hold. Mm -hmm. uh, again, ventilated area, there are, it's gonna be the breeze, there's gonna yeah. be that fiberglass that is uh, going everywhere. So definitely have that uh, like in a garage or somewhere. Or have a vacuum or something handy, ready. Yeah. As you cut it, that way it sucks up all the dust. Mm -hmm. Moving on to attaching the springs. If you're gonna set this up yourself, like I was saying, use the, uh, a string that, uh, spring that can hold the weight of the boards, the battery, and the lenses. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to look out for. I should have weighed all those. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. Just thought of that now. Anyway, the springs attach to these little uh, nubs that are on the end of the enclosures. Mm -hmm. uh, the sizing of it is to what the, the setting of the, or the specs of that spring that I use. So they should have just, a, they should be just a little bit more thicker so they can actually uh, have a nice hold to them mm -hmm. since you are going to have those components battery and you know swinging around in there so they are securely attached to the to the um, little nub there next up is just uh, threading your ninja flex little wire third threader battery holder thing a little thing in the center mm -hmm. just thread that through it's that photo there mm -hmm. And then the springs, luckily you don't have to bend them or anything like that. They just simply attach to the headband like that. Uh, when I was testing this out, I was like bending them all these different ways and trying to uh, have them, you know, all shaped. Around. Yeah, like I was un uncoiling it and like trying to bend it all this crazy ways. And uh, this do all that work and it, yeah, the best way was just to leave it unmodified. Right, and just poke it through the, the coil. Exactly, and that turned out to be the best uh, position in terms of uh, the weight distribution of how it swings and all that. Yeah. So no modifications required for the spring, thankfully, because it would have been hard to explain. Okay, bend it this way, bend it that way. Mm. So those are pretty easy okay. to attach. Cool. Moving on, if you want to do the second option, which is the longer wires, I just go through there uh, how these are connected. It's like we were saying before, the 10 wire silicone ribbon wires. Um, just stripping one of the wires off of that so we can have the nine, uh, nine ribbon, mm -hmm. or attach the nine pin cable. And how long yeah. is that cable? So I made this one 240 millimeters long and that's just enough to reach the top of the, um, I'm gonna ask which, which camera am I on, I don't know. Oop. From where the plugs are, Yep, all the way down across, threaded it all the way around to the other to the other board. So that's about how much you'll need, 240. And then the nine pin cable for the Monster Mask, you just uh, cut that right in the middle and then you'll extend it from there. You absolutely have to use uh, heat shrink for these to insulate all of the connections. Go back to the learn grid? Yeah. We have a close up of what those look like there. We, I believe the kit that we sell does have the little thin uh, shrink, heat shrink cable, uh, heat shrink. So you definitely want to make sure that those are attached before you solder each connection. Mm -hmm. And then we're just showing here how it's actually threaded through the uh, spring cover there, the Interflex spring cover. Yeah, plenty of room in those covers mm -hmm. to string through. And then the, um, the spring actually mounts inside if you go over to the overhead. The shorter ones attach to the outside nub, but the, the, uh, the longer springs actually attach to the inside right there. Mm. So those Sweet. will pop right in there and you can like um, uh, sort of screw them in. And mm. because of the way that the layers are stacked from the 3D printing, it actually acts as a, a, a thread. So you're actually just Sweet. putting them in there and screwing it in and it attaches that way. That's how those guys are hold, held onto there. That's just one note. That's the reason why these are hollow. Mm. So that uh, if you have a smaller spring, it could just be uh, press fitted inside there. Cool. I feel like I need to be wearing mine since yeah. you are wearing yours. <laughs> uh, moving on to mounting the battery. It just slides into the uh, little middle intestine holder there and I can either be on the uh, top or bottom I think I put mine on the top for the smaller set just so it's pretty much just uh, arranging the wire so they are uh, easily tucked away so whatever length of uh, battery that you have mm -hmm. uh, just position it properly that way as you can see there 
I just want it to be poking out just a little bit. Yep. After that, we'll mount the lenses. We we're saying the uh, they'll attach to the center of the little uh, ring that's on there. Mm -hmm. Piece of these go right on top. They press fit right into the case. Just align the. Make sure you have the right casing in the right the on the right uh, side. The left. Left on left, right on right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You actually have to make sure that yeah. that is the uh, monster's left is the left. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, especially when you're doing the code. It's like, yeah. What is left? The monster eyes left, not yeah. what you see is whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, we'll attach our battery uh, JST extension cable. We were saying we have a little cutout there. Uh, if you want to have it like super hidden, like we did in the video, you can solder right to the back of that. A little bit of a pain in the butt since the little uh, components that are so close they to that. Really but it can be cap. done. <laughs> you can screw that on there, or solder that on there. Yeah, or you can cut it off and surface mount it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Do all sorts of stuff. I know you keep telling me to cut it off. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> cut it off! And you can see how the, uh, how that, uh, the, this one. yeah, how I soldered it on there. There you go. Yeah. Can't do it. And then you can plug in the nine pin cable to connect both boards. We were saying before, moving on to the Ninja Flex covers. Mm -hmm. You can simply cut them to snip, uh, snip. cover the springs, and that's pretty much it. The wires, you want to make sure they're just spaced up, spaced just enough so that you have room to sway them around. If that's what you're going, yeah. Yeah. If that's what you want. So we've been testing these for about oh, wow. two weeks now, and we haven't had any uh, wires like bending and getting damaged that way. Yep. So if you it want it really secure in your head, um, maybe put it in with one of those Mickey hats because it has a strap down here. That's yeah, the only thing that's missing. As you saw, if you go down, it's, it's heavy, man. It'll fall. So you gotta be careful with them. It's a headband with like half a pound well, on your head. Yeah. So I need to weigh it. <laughs> uh, they also, I've also seen headbands with like a comb built into it, so it'll actually hold your your hair if you have that. Oh yeah, it yeah, depends, yeah. Really. I did see those. I mean, yeah. Headbands are normally for. And again, the motions you can get out of these if you go up and down. It looks like they're going up and down like that. And Definitely get a headband that fits your head. Yeah, I recommend the wider headbands. We use like the skinny, thin ones for that. It works, but you just have to limit how much you turn your head and mm -hmm. the angle. I'm being very cautious down. not to do that. Yeah, I always have to hold them. Cause but for regular walking around and stuff, for trick or treating or. What? For your monster. For regular ball. walking, glue it to your head. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, again, get a headband that fits your head. It doesn't fit my head. <laughs> I think that's for children's. <laughs> that's probably what's going on. There's no grip either. It's all like meant to slide off your head. It's not meant to hold five pounds, is what yeah. I'm saying. Okay. Not five pounds, but you know what I mean. Yeah. All right. And that's this week's project. Super awesome way to split apart your monster mask and make some alien eyes. These were inspired by, I think, that, Binks. That, 80, <laughs> that 80s movie uh, Encounters, Encounters that uh, yeah. uh, PT wanted these modeled after. I think they were actually green, though, but mm -hmm. you can have yeah, those match. Don't think they had scleras. Again, uh, don't ha we ran out of stock for the lenses. I actually had to pick up the last lens at DigiKey. Thanks. And, Shout out, DigiKey. Yeah. And pro tip too, they have monster masks in stock as well. So if you uh, didn't get Adabox or um, get a chance to get these cool, coolest PCB, I think, were designed. I am an alien. Definitely pick it up from DigiKey. They always, uh, it's like the backup place to go if we're out of stock. Mm -hmm. I was born here, but I'm still an alien. <laughs> and you can definitely see the difference between not having the, uh, the, lens the lenses in and yeah, definitely get rid of the protective. Don't be like us. Oh, I keep forgetting. Because yeah, they, they give you glare. Uh -huh. And you can make them real ears if you wanted to make the GIF stuff. We yeah. have a GIF player code that we're going to talk about a little bit. Yep, the rotation code should be up there as well. I think you put it in the main guide. Uh, Philby put it in the main guide. Yeah, he did. So we'll All right, that's cool. this week's creepy if, antenna. Oh, yeah, and if you'd like to out. pick up the battery <laughs> or anything else in the shop, maybe a better headband. You can uh, use antenna eyes for the coupon code. Sweet. All right, moving on to more monster mask projects. Yeah, I don't know what to move on to. I think this, what are we prototyping? Yeah, let's do some monster mask voice changing. What? 
super oh, awesome code from Philip or Gus. Yeah, this code's available Scott. right now. If you have your hardware, right now, upload it. It's on GitHub. What? Wrong one. All right, cool. So uh, I needed to make an update to the case. The Monster Mask case was last week's project, so definitely check it out. If you do want to have the PDM microphone output exposed, well, definitely up, just print out the top cover. It says top dash mic in the Thingiverse page, so you can see that there. It literally just plugs in like that. You have a little connector here. You have access to it. This is the PDM microphone that uh, ships with the Adabox. I hope we don't get in trouble for saying that, but it should be released. I think uh, a lot of people got theirs early, so yeah. the spoiler was already yeah. there. <laughs> yep. So this is the PDM microphone. It uh, uses the Stemma four-pin uh, connector, right? Or no, it's Quick, right? No, it's Stemma. I think it's Stemma QT. So confusing. No, it's not. Confusing. Don't worry, we're coming out with a whole video about yeah, I know. Stemma. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing it. <laughs> so you plug that in, and then you have an uh, audio microphone here that's PDM. Okay, let's turn it on. I don't have a, uh, <laughs> I don't have a battery in there. Oh, maybe I do. All right, so it's already on. Um, this code doesn't use the eyes. It's just turning this into a voice changer. So you can use the buttons to change the voice. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the demon episode of 3D Hangouts. Ha, 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 ha. Now we're going up, and we are now in some sort of fairy land. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Hello. <laughs> so the speaker is in the back there, and uh, you can hear it. Hello, hello. It's not the world's loudest speaker. It's small. Um, Phil B recommends using a amplified Amplifier. speaker. So a self-powered speaker with a, an auxiliary port. Everything's still in there. Oh, I do have a battery. Huh, yeah, the 500 milliamp battery fits there. Um, and you have access to that PDM microphone from right there. Speaker fits right there. And uh, that's really it for the voice changer project. Um, let's see if I can close it. I think I have my battery cable in the way. You want to make sure that your cables don't get kinked, like I just did there. So you just want to kind of round it a little bit. And there you go, and it's still on. Awesome. Cool. So it's a really fun voice changer um, on your Halloween hardware. So it's really cool. Um, again, it was just a small update to the case, just to make that hole there exposed for the PDM microphone. That's it, everything's the same there. Yep. And uh, yeah, the button's here for changing uh, the pitch. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. There you go. So that was really, really fun. Um, definitely update the, or download the update and print it out if you want the PDM input. And maybe we'll figure out some sort of way to um, make this into its own case or something. For now, I don't have much planned for other than let's get Let's get the case updated. Yeah, that's it. Sweet. So that's one of the things we're prototyping. Cool. Um, real quick, let me paste in that code for you, uh, the, the GitHub repo for that code, the voice changer code. Drop it into Facebook. Drop it into um, the Discord chat so it lives forever. And then the YouTube chat, I think, will also live forever. If you ever want to see new code that's being added to LearnGuide, projects, just subscribe to the uh, GitHub repo, the Learn Guide repo, and that way you can get notifications whenever new code is added to the Learn Guide repo. That's where all the fun stuff is. So give it a star if you haven't already. Cool. Moving on to other things you're prototyping. Yeah, um, let's see, the unicorn horn? I think so. Okay, cool. So <laughs> over the weekend I uh, did a, um, a, a an update to this unicorn horn. So, uh, unicorn horns. Adafruit loves unicorn horns. We, we started it like in 2015. Shout out to Becky Stern for kicking, kickstarting that one. And uh, we've been making unicorn horns every year, just getting better and better. This year, it's a screw. Uh, <laughs> it's like a, it's got a screw thread here. So you can take your, uh, your unicorn horn out. It's 3D printed. It's printed in this nice translucent filament. And now you can have different bases. This is a three watt LED, right? Running on a prop maker Featherwing, right? And now I have a NeoPixel Jewel, seven NeoPixels, and now I can just put this unicorn horn on any different thing. This is a NeoPixel Jewel, not the three watt LED. So I can unscrew it, put it on this one, and go to town with it. So that is really cool. I did a layer by layer tutorial on it. Definitely check it out. Um, I got excited because I was like, I've been wanting to make this type of shape in Fusion 360, and I finally got a good uh, kind of workflow uh, for creating this parametric 
design. It's all parametrics. You can go in there, change up the size, change up the coils, change up the threads, and make it fit your project. And I actually did a little tweet and I shouted out all the people that like had like uh, had unicorns and got a kick out of that. Can I show them the big one? Uh, yeah, bring it out. Yeah, so uh, let's see if this turns on. Yeah, I'm killing my power source. Yeah, Luckily, so we got really another cool. one. Yeah, so that was really cool. So what else could you do with... Go to the main shot. <laughs> All right, that's a cool little unicorn. What about a unicorn sword? Yeah, it's so like it's parametric, right? So that means you can make it as tall as you want. We 3D printed this with the CR-10S Pro at 400 millimeters. So that is like a foot long or whatever. Or something? It's only like 15. So it's pretty tall. So, uh, yep, it's completely hollow. It's all... 3D printed, no support material, completely parametric. If you look at it on the overhead, you can see it just about lights up the whole unicorn here, which is really nice. The three watt LED, so you have full control over the, uh, the colors and all that. And uh, this is just uh, modify, or I, all I did was modify uh, the, uh, the emitter to fit the coil, and, and that's, now I have a unicorn lightsaber. So, same sound effects and all that. Just a different um, part here. So you can see this does indeed screw up, screw on and screw off, twist and twist. You can see here it's got that lens in there as well, the uh, lens. And you can build your own lightsaber unicorn horn now. I'll release the files um, soon. So you can uh, 3D print the unicorn horn and have your own swappable blade. So this is the, uh, the lightsaber build that we did not too long ago. It's got the speaker here. Very cool. So check it out. If you want to make your own unicorn horn, update your unicorn projects with a thread so that you can pop, change them out. Very cool. You keep that there or something? I don't know. Um, that's what we're prototyping. I had another thing, but I'm still working on it. Yeah. Real quick. More Halloween stuff. Yeah. It's a Halloween stuff, yeah. I'm, I'm putting a Halloween eye inside one of the candy bowls from Target. Really, really cool. <laughs> so you want to pick up the NeoPixel Jewels or the Prop Maker Featherwing to make your own lightsaber? You get 10% off that, that order if you use coupon code antenna eyes. I wonder why it's antenna eyes. Is it still on? Yeah, it's still on. Yeah, they should last for about three hours if you're using the, the 500 milliamp lipo oh, battery. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. Yep. Oh no, DigiKey website appears to be down. That's hard to believe. Yeah, it'll probably be up in a little bit. All right, moving on to community makes. Yeah, this week we have a time lapse. Every week we do a time lapse. 3D print a design from the community and let people see it. So here is hopefully the right file. Yeah, this is sweet. This is from, from Nick, better known as Bugman on the Twitters and places. He designed this really cool uh, cauldron. Prints with no support material. And it's uh, size for a Circuit Playground Express. So I have a Circuit Playground Express with our little snap fit case. You pop in that. And then this extra cover that I designed uh, that just kind of fits on top of it. And then we have Fuses a little, it. yeah, it has a diffuser thing. And then we're using dry ice that we got from our local supermarket in warm water. And that is the recipe to make our brew. Which is warm brew water. there. Which is brew, yeah. This is great. The circuit playground was fine. No components were hard in the making of this um, <laughs> time lapse. And I love dry ice so much. Really big note, though, uh, you have to use it yeah, or right use away. it. If you don't have a, time, a, a climate controlled freezer, it'll just evaporate in one day in less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. <laughs> so, uh, we don't have any more to show you. We would love to show you and have dry ice, but we ran out. But luckily he did 3D model. That's right. And print the, oh, it's a little bit too bright, but you can kind of see there. Down. Nice little bubbling model. Little thing here. Oh, so it's supposed to simulate sick. like a witch's brew bubbling right. up. And that just, um, fits on top. You can take it off. Go ahead and take it off. There you go. There's okay. my little extra little diffuser. diffuser thing that allows you to put another tray in there so that water doesn't get in there. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I'm doing it. This, apparently people like the snap fit case. You don't need any screws for this one. It literally snap fits yeah, the case. On the and I also, yeah, and I also have a tutorial on how to design one. So if you have a different circular shaped board that you want that snaps, you can use the sweep command and follow my tutorial on how to do it. This is running uh, make code or maybe it's circuit python. Doesn't matter because you can change it, right? It can be mm -hmm. anything. So that's great. I'll plug make it in and see what it loads. But yeah, great design by uh, by Nick. 
Mm -hmm. Really like the way the little uh, legs or the feet for these are. And of course the addition of the, um, I forgot the Pinta thing. Pentagram. That's a star. Star. It's a native <laughs> logo. It's a demonic native <laughs> logo. Uh, let me go to the Thingiverse webpage real quick so y'all can see it. It's in the video as well. Uh, but, 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 scroll down. Here is my note. Thomas Veach asking mm. the Monster Mask, does it have battery charging? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. It's got, I think it's a 0.2 milliamp charging rate, something like that. Don't quote me on it. Yeah, it's great for smaller lipos. So here it is. It's uh, Mr. Bugman uh, 140. This is the handle on, uh, on Thingiverse. On socials? Yeah, he's got some great designs, so check him out. Yeah, it's called the Pentagram Cauldron. Yeah, so we gotta, we'll post a make later. We've just been doing all the things. And uh, you can see he's, he's the one who made uh, all the cool things. We've printed a couple oh, of these things. Cool designs. Yeah, I think this mug, we printed the mug. Yeah, look at that. Really lantern. cool Captain's oh. Lantern, some eggs. Trash can. Super Happy New cool. Year. We we printed another what was it? Oh yeah, last Halloween. Yeah, we printed the, uh, his skull and we yeah. did like a dual extrusion version of it. Yeah. So check out Bugman140. Got some great designs. Sweet. Alright. Is that the whole show? I believe so. Sweet. Super tight range. Let me get back talk. to this candy bowl. <laughs> yeah. Candy makes, yeah. Oh, that was cool. It's like trying to stabilize. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's cool. All right, well, we're going to be on the show and tell later tonight and show whatever. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you, that we want to talk about? I think about? that's it. Nothing, really? Yeah. All the other stuff we're being worked on. You're still working on it, yeah. All right, well, the coupon code is still the same. We're going to have another one later, but uh, antennas is the coupon code you can use right now. Remember that Sweet. gets you 10% off anything in the store except subscriptions like Adabox mm -hmm. or coupons. Right. Or no, gift certificates. Sorry. Right. I'm just going to say right whether you say it right or not. It's <laughs> <laughs> at 11.59 p.m. tonight. But don't worry. There'll be another coupon code tomorrow and later tonight. Yep. Oh, yeah. If you like unicorn horns, don't forget I did a Lair Belair on that. Yep. Also, I have the Lair Belair on the SnapFit CPX case. Check out the playlist. I think they'll be in the description. Let's see, what else did we forget? Um, our grab cat, our grab cat, our GitHub repo for 3D parts is also in the links in the description if you want to 3D um, model some stuff, some custom stuff for our hardware. We have lots of different boards, so definitely give that a star if you have a GitHub account. Go to the repo and yeah. And if you want to visualize size, how big right. the monster mask is, you can use Instagram's filter that we built for the monster mask. You can. Where? Apply it to your, yeah, you can virtually apply it to your head to see what the sizes are going to be for that. Or virtually apply it to the costume head that you're working on. That's a good That's idea. That's a better idea. Yeah. Well, well, this fit. Yeah. We get to test it at the yeah. uh, We actually, shop. maybe we should make a split version. Split version. Yeah, where it's the two PCBs oh. split or something. Huh. I don't know. We'll I see. wish you could add some, like a, yeah, like some a, sort of scrubbing. a slide bar that yeah, lets you, you separate, separate it. Or, that'd be cool. Oh, that'd be so cool. Okay, well, that is going to be the show. Don't forget tonight, we have more show. All participants that come on the show and tell get a free vinyl sticker. Pedro's got it right there. Bam, bam, bam. So come on by and let us uh, show, show what you're uh, working on or what you want to work on. It's all good, fair game. Um, yeah, show and tell tonight. If you stop by. Yeah, it's, uh, Stream Deck is working really well. Or Stream Yard. Right? Yeah, Stream Yard. And then don't so forget service. tomorrow. Oh, wait. Is it the unboxing? I think so. Yeah, because I just saw in Hootsuite, um, we're retweeting people who just got their Ada boxes in. I literally pulled up um, our meeting notes from last week and going to John Parks. Let's John, see. see 25th guy. is the unboxing, which is next week. Okay, Whoops. well, there you go. Thank, okay. thank goodness we write notes. <laughs> yeah, so John Park will be unboxing next week just to make sure that everybody gets their box so we don't spoil it. Uh, if you're watching the show, we spoil everything. So. Sorry. No, I don't. I think DHL was the ones who spoiled everything, yeah. delivering stuff That's like our the very next DHL. day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. Um, How far did I get into the outro? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, so Ask an Engineer will be on tonight at 8 p.m. Standard stuff, Lamar and Phil, open source hardware. Another new spoiler, products. I don't know if there's, is it the interview 
this week or next there's week. There's like a bunch of interviews coming up. There's some up cool with stuff. Like many, coming many out. cool people, makers, yeah. hackers. Some stuff from the 80s. And yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, cool. so cool. Definitely ring that um, bell, icon. bell icon so you get notified when new I've videos come never out. I've heard you say such There's a thing. so many cool stuff you can talk ring about coming the out. Bell icon. What are we, some sort of YouTuber? <laughs> I'm an alien from another world. Uh, uh, Man, I should have had mine on the whole time. <laughs> I know. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you all for watching. These are too fun not to wear. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget. <laughs> and have a nice day. <laughs> John Park's got on tomorrow. So he's going to be on on Thursdays, every 4 p.m. Eastern time. Get some Make Code Minutes. I'm, no I'm normally lurking when uh, he's doing the show. So I'm lurking around. In there. Yeah, we always have the audio on when we're finishing yeah. projects. So definitely stop by. And Say what's up. All the awesome projects he's working on. I think he's doing more. Uh, I can't see the meeting notes. You can see That's what funny. he's going to be working on. You refer to meeting notes. GIF back. Uh, GIF playback. GIF next. playback. Code works. He's going to be working yeah. on. Yeah, we're Ooh. making lots of GIFs. That's right. I spent a lot of time working on GIFs. Yeah. Uh, That's what we forgot. Oh, to ventriloquist mention. dummy stuff. And of course, more make code projects. Oh, that's right. To an I, end. I, <laughs> I wanted to show off the hypnoize because I spent a good time using uh, the polar coordinate filter mm. it's john park covered it all so it's just his follow guide. his guide yeah. on making custom texture maps it was pretty difficult i think one of these boards actually has it. the gif player on there it but does. we'll show that next week yeah there's more stuff next there's week. more optimizations needed yeah. so all right folks well thank you so much for joining us don't forget later tonight show and tell free sticker free stuff as well on ask engineer call up lamar and let her know what you're working on she'll send you a free thing last 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 week was really nice okay well that's going to be it again don't forget to make a great day. See you next week and Bye -bye. tonight. And tonight. Let's hear the song. Listen to the song. It's really good. I was hacking in the lab quite late one night, soldering pins and debugging the bytes, when suddenly a bang exploded with sparks, and a figure emerged from the hazy dark. It wore a mask. It wore a monster mask. A monster mask. Its eyes were LCD glass. It wore a mask. It had some chips on the back. The monster mask. And a sweet solder mask. Soon I discovered I had nothing to fear. This ghoulish rage wasn't how it appeared. This creature didn't want to do me in. It just wanted new eyes, so I plugged them right in. It wore a mask. I was coding so fast. The monster I used some pictures of cats mask. Uploading firmware to Flash the mask. And the results were a smash oh. Those programmable eyes oh. So easily customized oh. And once we got it all right oh. We would party all night the mask. 